Hey guys, Mike here with Century Security Systems Incorporated. In this video, as we continue along in the IVMS how-to series, I'd take a, like to take a look at using the new TBI model on the IVMS. So if you're not familiar with TBI, it's a new format of analog cameras. They give you HD resolution, um, and they also work with the old analog cameras. So you can install one of these new TBI NVRs from Century Security, um, add on the existing cameras, to it, all of their all of their existing analog cameras, and they can slowly replace them with TVI cameras as their their budget permits. It's a great cost-effective way of replacing an aging analog DVR. The nice thing with it, though, is that it's also compatible with the IVMS platform, so I can actually take, you know, say an eight-channel TVI, or we have a thirty-two, whatever whatever you need. So I can actually then add all of those onto the IVMS platform with our IP cameras use the IVMS to do all of the recording um, as well. Now you don't have to do that. The the TBI boxes are capable of doing their own recording, but you do have the option of recording to the IVMS in addition to that or all by itself. So a nice little feature. Process of adding it, exactly the same as adding an IP camera. So we're just gonna go through this really quick. Um, if you need any more information, you can watch adding an IP camera as well. So really quick here, we're gonna go modify net info. So we're gonna put this into the 50 range of our network. I'm going to enter my password. Okay, so as you can see now, we've updated our IP address. We're now in the same range. We need to make sure that last number doesn't interfere with any of the other cameras. Our camera's on 100, that's 213, so no interference there. So now that that's done, we can make sure we have it highlighted. Click Add to Client. And I'm just going to name this one our TBI cameras. And I'm going to enter in my password. For this one, I'm going to uncheck the group. It doesn't need, it need its own group. And then I'm going to click Add. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to actually go into my group settings. I've got my all camera group I'm going to import into here and I'm going to grab all of my TBI cameras as well. Now <clears throat> you'll notice that I don't have all of them connected. Okay, so you can see here there's eight analog um, as well as it has the ability to connect some IPs directly to it as well if you need to. Um, because I only have one TBI camera I'm just going to import that single one. Okay, so now I have that in my all cameras group I can play back everything from the end user's point of view, they won't notice any difference whatsoever. All right, so now that we've added the camera, I'm just gonna let you guys have a quick view here of the camera so you can see the quality difference of the TBI com cameras compared to the IP camera. So the previous one we added was a fixed dome two megapixel, which should compare pretty nicely to the TBI. Both cameras will look great. So we're gonna go into the main view here, drag our TBI camera over. And I'll just full screen that here for you so you can have a quick look. So that completes how to add the TVI cameras, the process for making sure it's recording, motion detection, all that sort of stuff, exact same as all the other IP camera videos. The IVMS software simply treats the TVI device as an IP camera uh, with more than one video feed, basically. So that's all there is to it. Um, any questions? Shoot me an email, tech at cctvcentury.com. Um, if you're interested in purchasing one of these products, sales at cctvcentury.com. Thanks, guys.